Let's stop the shit. They're right. No, because of the pride, man. And so the Lord's using the whole e shit as a sifter. Yes. And 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 then all these jokes are like, why is this happening? What's going? On? Why can't? We, why? Can't we? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Hey, I love it. They ain't going to. I actually love it. They, 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 you know, what I'm saying the true friends of the Lord. They ain't going to uh, uh, play games with the Lord. They're not going to be respected persons. Oh well, you're an elder. You've been the truth for five years, so it's okay. You know. No, man. You say no. You know what? That's not right. Would you Would you do that to the name of the Lord? See, that's something I did out of the video. That's something that Esau did. What do you do with the name of the Lord? He put the J in there. Uh, uh, um, you know, he took the Assyrian out. He put Edomite. You know, certain things like that. What is the name of the Lord? He put the J in there. Uh, uh, um, you know, he took the Assyrian out. He put Edomite. You know, certain things like that. Right, so, the the tetra, even the tetragrammaton. Right, so they're doing certain characteristics of deception and craftiness and cunnery of Esau. So that makes them what? You are of your father, the devil, man. The works your father you will do, he's a murderer from the beginning and a bold non the truth because he has a lie, right. father of it, man. Because father look, God, if I can say this, you put Esau in your title, most of the time they don't even fuck with you. So why the fuck are you doing it? See, it's a hidden be agenda behind all this shit. And uh, you have guys, right? They may see, they may feel like, hey, man, why are we saying E? But they're scared. They're scared to stand on their own two feet. And not just that, they're, 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 uh, they're, they're clouded, man. They're, they're possessed. And they don't even know why or what they're, they're doing. Yao Shai ain't no, nothing to play with, bro. Yao Shai is a top angel. He has power over hey. him. Let me ask you this, brother. If if Yahweh Shah was here right now, do you think he'd say the word E, bro? Hell no, man. If Jeremiah was here right now, you think he'd say some fucking E, bro? Straight up. Nay. Straight up. For real. Nay. If 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 the Lord was here right now, he would not be saying no fucking E, bro. Uh the scripture tell you in Isaiah 34, my sword gonna bathe in heaven, this shall come down upon Idumia. You can even say Basra. The scripture tell you in uh, the scripture tell you in um. Yeah, the great sacrifice in Basra. You could even you could even say Basra, bro. You could say I do me. You could you could say say what's in the scriptures. That's all. I I'm give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace to the elect. Shalom means peace unto the elect Israelites scattered abroad. Okay, um, you know, these are one of those videos that, you know, it takes time, but it's almost necessary to go into. I mean, the brother from uh, both elders, one, uh, I saw Yasha Wamba's video, Remnant 144, and then I saw Elder Manadazatba videos. Um, now, they are, the uh, you know, because he goes in to say, since you've been an elder or such and such, you have the you know the top top elders, and then uh, these brothers are you know considered elders as well. And um, I just kind of wanted to touch on that video with uh, this thing going into um, this E doctrine, or, or that's what they call it, an E doctrine. Um, I think this is just. The scripture says, I think in Galatians, a little leaven, leaven, a whole lump. And if you personally, the scriptures I believe in First Peter says, I may quote a few. Um, I believe the second chapter says, um, you know, endure grief and suffer it wrongfully. If you feel that you're right, I don't think put in any uh, the title E in a channel uh, in your videos is the worst thing on the planet. I don't think that's an, an issue. I think the most important thing is to try to brothers, I think want to keep their videos uh, going. And I know, I do understand that these guys may say, well, you gotta have faith and this or that. Well, the Lord controls it all, right? And we have to, we're coming, we're at the end and we're in the time now where not only you're gonna to have to supplant YouTube, you're gonna to have to supplant the system. There's going to be a lot of things you might have to do in order to, to survive out here under under the spirit of the Lord. He will guide you into what you may need to do, right? So uh, this is kind of crazy because 
I thought the important thing was getting the truth out. I, I don't know why people are worried about if someone's putting E to where, which E means Esau, if anybody don't know, which all of us do know. Why, you know, and it's not that the, the title, because you put E Esau in the title, you get flagged, is when you put Esau in there, then they go to start scoping it. I know this. I know this for a fact. Uh, I have five, six different channels. I had several channels flagged. I'm working six, I don't know how many channels at this point. And I've done a video on IHBK and I mixed this, mentioned something about the vaxes. And they flagged me immediately and put it up about the vaxes. So the most important thing is to edify and build the elect. You know, help build the elect, reach the elect, edify until this thing wraps up. We coming in the time of the famine of the word. So... I think brothers like myself, I don't even use the word Esau in a lot of my titles, right? Because I know that's where they're going. I'm putting other things in there to get the brethren or whoever don't know to come in and see, you know, what you know what, what the video is about. I think all of us know what Esau, who Esau is. Hell, the Bible says Esau. But this is the attack that's on the men of the Lord. See, these other groups, they don't have that. Because they're not talking about the V's, they're not talking about the chips, they're not talking about anything like that. So they can put that in their title. But with us, we have to supplant. We have to supplant this man and in, in, in his system. And we have to supplant YouTube. And if it means putting E in, uh, you know, that that's fine. Now, if you don't, then that's fine too. I mean, we got a whole kinds of things going on now. And I've seen both of the elders' videos and, and, and they were saying the same thing. We got all these things going on now. Then I, I don't see the issue with that. But anyway, I'll go into. Um, and then the brother, I'm just going to be honest, got the line up and the fade on the side. And we know what the, that scripture says in the, what is it, the book of Matthew, the seventh chapter, about the moat in our eye and the beam in the brother's eye. And your eye, get wipe the moat out of your own eye. First of all, you got to make yourself, make sure yourself is grounded. Make sure you got yourself together before you start blaming other brothers for not doing certain things. And a lot of times, you ain't been doing this truth very long. You know, I see a lot of younger brothers do this. I, I've went into the, this is nothing new. I've seen brothers come in. You you breaking down the scripture wrong. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. You know, and and it comes from a lack of discipline. It comes, from, and I'm just being honest. I, you know, I, I have nothing against these brothers. I don't know what what's going on in their life or what's happening we we try to reach out um and really expose you know when the brother says um to re you know the uh elder monada's out by said hey watch these guys what he's saying is you know you got to watch brothers who, who cause division contrary to the doctrine and the word expose me to shame in the hope that you will repent i've seen brothers actually repent from videos like this right so it's not impossible. But what they're saying is that, you know, other brothers are scared to say something because they might be elders or teachers, but yet they're saying double honors. But the, I heard, I seen the top apostles put E on the videos. I don't know. I mean, that's just crazy. It's crazy. It's either you believe in it that it's wrong or you don't. Don't. If you're going to say one person is wrong for it, just say everybody's wrong. Say, say everybody's wrong for it. But I don't think it's a need to make a video and say that you're wrong because you decide another brother decide to put E in the video. I, I I think that's just very petty, and I think that's just trying to exalt yourself to be up to more than what you are. I also understand that when you first read scriptures, you two, three years in, you or four years, five years, whatever, when you first start reading these scriptures, you don't understand it the same way that somebody has been reading it 15, 20 years. I do know that. Your maturity level isn't there, right? And this is why men, this is why elders of camps are all set up. This is why that's in, that's important. If these young brothers was in, in our camp, this, this video wouldn't be going up, man. And if it would, and they want to do their own thing, well, they got to go do their own thing, man. That wouldn't, this wouldn't be happening, man. That, that wouldn't be necessary. And then I would have to sit down and explain to them why, Right? Let's go to Acts 26. Let's go to Acts 26. I'll go to an example. Apostle Paul. 
You know, if Apostle Paul was here, would he say E? Yes, he would. Yes, he would. This uh, Acts 26 and 1. And first of all, that there's many names. E, Esau, Edomite, uh, the wicked son of perdition. I mean, the, the you know, he said, would you, how would you say E? Well, he said, walk not in the way of the Gentiles. Right? And really meaning the, the heathen, heathen believing. That's another name. Uh, Gentiles is another name. Right? So there's a... There's several names that fit categories. E is just another name. And, and us as Jakes, we know this. We know this. Uh, when you read Malachi, he says, they shall build. Well, who's the they? We know there's Esau. But I will throw down. These are the parables and these are the way we speak. That's the way Yahweh spoke. Right? I, I don't see the big deal, man. But that's, it. that's the <laughs> Jake, man. Jake, Jake learned some truth, learned some scriptures, and Jake be on fire, you know. Take that energy and that strength that you have foot at and go against the people who are, who are dogging us out, man. You know, put some of that energy in the other guys teaching that it's not the, the, the mark of the beast, not the chip, you know. Anyway, this is Acts 26 and 1. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, right, thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth the hand and answered for himself. Now remember, we're still under captivity. So there is still things, even on YouTube, that you can say and things that you can't say. You're still under the authority of the government, right? We are not free. We're not free to say what the hell we want to say, especially on YouTube. So all we are supposed to do is teach and bring out what's right according to the scriptures. But outside of that, and I'm just saying in general, there's things that you can't say in general on YouTube. You can't talk about now the, uh, the, the transgenders or you're flagged. There's certain things you can't say. So we kind of push that aside. This is the same thing with Esau this and Esau that because you know the view is going to come when you type. I do know that, too, do know that for a fact, too. You type something and put Esau in front of Edomite, and here come all the views because everybody wants to see that, man. But the real stuff, the truth, the chip, the uh, the uh, all these things that are happening, the World War Three, and certain things that all these things are happening, you Jakes are just ignoring that. You're worried about this. You should not be wasting your time and putting the energy into uh, something being brought out on the, uh, on the, in the title. I don't know. Verse 21. I think myself King Agrippa because I shall answer for myself this day. Before uh, the touching all the things where I'm, I am accused of the Jews. Right? Especially because I know thee to be an expert in the customs and questions. Which are among the Jews where I beseech thee to hear me patiently. Right? So you have Paul coming to this king. And he have to submit himself in a way. Right? Respectfully. So he can uh, finish his mission. And this is what we're doing here. And in some cases, uh, if a brother puts E in the title, he has to respectfully say things and do things in a way of using guile to be able to keep, you know, the momentum going. Now, we do understand that some things we just going to say and we're going to get flagged and we can't be worried about it because the Lord. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's faith and the Lord's going to do what he's going to do and allow what he's going to do. But the Lord is also teaching us that how we got to be smart. Right. We got to uh, we got we got to be smarter uh, than how we're behaving. Because you have a lot of guys that carry on that spirit of those um, wicked Pharisees, man, who uh, Shah had to curse out. Uh, wanting to wanting to overdo everything, and this is what Paul was going, Apostle Paul was going through as well. When you read uh, Acts twenty six, when he was talking about the Jews seek to kill me, right? Because there was no, you know, no mercy, and that's what a lot of Jakes is pushing right now, man. They're not pushing any kind of mercy, any kind of love. I mean, these kind of videos that's being brought up like this, man, is ridiculous. That's not showing any kind of mercy or any kind of love for brothers that uh, 
that are pushing, you know, trying to just get the word out. And that's what it's about, man. You know, all that extra is is uh, is uh, isn't necessary. Now, even when uh, Yahweh Shah was taken up, you know, and he was asking him questions, right? Yeah, he, he just he spoke. Most of the things he spoke was in parables, so they didn't understand. And what that did was pissed them off, right? What that did was piss people off. And he even spoke to the Israelites in parables. Matthew 13 said, I speak to them in parables. So he didn't straight up say things straight out fully for everybody to understand. So this truth is only merely meant for certain ones to understand. It's not really meant for everybody to understand. And that's what has to be understood. We're not out. We're not out here to try to wake up the whole nation of Israel. You know, you leave that as a box. That's his doctrine. That's what he was pushing from the beginning. He the one had a problem with Jake saying E. He had a problem with that, and that's where a lot of this comes from. Because he wants to wake up the whole nation of Israel. He's about all Israelites. I I, I get his teaching. Hey, it's it's all good that he's out teaching and teaching our people, right? But us at Great Millstone, we ain't on that. We we're not on that. We not we don't we don't have that kind of platform. Our platform is hey wait we out to reach the elect. Don't you think the Most High is going to put the spirit and brothers to understand what we're saying? And then ultimately we don't even have to put E in the video, even put Esau in the title, because most of our videos are not even geared on that. To be honest, most of our videos, believe it or not, are not geared on that. It's geared on what's happening. It's geared on the prophecies. And that should be the important thing. You know, I really don't like going to videos like this, especially from, you know, brothers that was in the truth and supposed to know better. Or at least should be under some form of order of somebody who can, you know, guide them, you know, righteously. But, you know, the scripture says a child left to himself become willful. And this is what happened. They become all out of control and in, in coming up with all these different doctrines and made up doctrines and just making it up as they go along. You know, you got all that energy, put that into the uh, other things. There's other camps, other groups going off on different things. Make 10 videos in the Mark of the Beast, you know? And if you want to put Esau in there, make, put 20 videos with Esau in it and shoot it up there. But there's brothers who, who are, have more of a reputation amongst the YouTube world, let me say that, where even the apostles, where they're getting more views, and you have to be a little careful because you got agents that'll come on there and they'll hear what they say or they seek out. Remember, there's agents that's looking at your videos and they'll seek it out and it's all they looking for that word Esau. And boom, they're going to it. Hear somebody say something about this or that. Boom, flag his video. I just got a video flag yesterday from a video I did three months prior. And it was on the Vaxxers. And they flagged it three from three months ago. So this is what we have happening. We have a, a wrap up, so to speak. So now it's time to uh, just keep going until the famine of the word, man. We are most pretty much in the famine of the word because the word we can only, you know, we bring out what we can bring out. But there's certain things you can't say at this point. Anyway, you can read the story for yourself. Acts uh, the 26th chapter with uh, Paul and Agrippa, and he said, you know, I I might as made thee to be a Christian. Well, you know what? Let me get that real quick. Let's go to the uh, 26th verse. For the king knoweth of these things before thou, before whom also I speak freely. For I am persuaded that none of these things are hidden from him. For this thing was not done by uh, in a corner. King Agrippa believeth thou the prophets, right? They believe. Right, and they these a lot of these people know who the prophets are, right? They know, King Agrippa, believeth thou the prophets. I know that thou believest. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. And Paul said, I would to Yahweh. So wait a minute, is is Paul wrong? Is Apostle Paul wrong? He, he said it in his, in, his, in his letters, I use guile. Let me read that again. And Paul said, I would to God. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. 
And Paul said, I would to Yahweh that not only thou, but also all that hear me this day, right? Which he was going into, which he was going into is he was keeping peace with Agrippa because what he was saying was he was using a form of guile to say, look, man, this is not no hate towards you, believe it or not. But hell, I wish my own people would listen. You're an expert in it, but they won't listen. And this is what we see here today is when, when brothers are putting this E in the, in the title, it's, it's kind of the same thing because you're using a form of guile. Right? You're using guile. It says, but also all that hear me this day, both almost and all together, as I am, except those bonds. And when, he's, and, when, and when he had thus spoken, the king rose up, and the governor, and Bernice, and they that sat with them, and when they were gone aside, they talked between themselves, saying, this man does nothing worthy of death or of bonds. And just like Yahweh They was like, man, he didn't do anything. It's always our people, man. It's always our people. It's always us. We're the ones that's, that's, that's doing the delivering up to the uh, to the affliction. It's just as they did Yahweh just as they did with Apostle Paul, just as they're going to do to us. These guys bringing, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. The over-righteous Israelites, man. The scripture says, be not righteous over much. This said Agrippa unto Festus, this man might have been set at liberty if he had not appealed unto Caesar. Right? We ain't in that carnal time. Yahweh hasn't come back yet. Yahweh hasn't beamed through the cloud, the crack through the crowds in the chariot to, to rain, rain hell on earth yet. So we still have to be in a mindset of we don't know if we the elect. For, for number one, we don't know that. We don't know who the elect is. And we got to be sober minded. And we got to use guile. And we got to use smartness, man. We got to be sharp. Hey, the, the, the Israel means the uh, uh, prince of power, man. Yasharallah, the prince of power, man. We're supposed to be smarter. We're supposed to be sharper. We're supposed to be able to supplant. We're supposed to be better than this, man. That's all I have on that, Shalom.